and welcome back to another edition of Easy Theory. So what is even a regex? So what we've been talking about so far are these DFA, NFA things, and what they allow us to do is to recognize whether a string is in a given language. So if we have a language L, we can test if a given string W is in L or not. And what we do is we just run it through the machine, and if you land in an accept state, then you accept the string. But suppose that I tell you, okay, L is equal to all the strings W such that blah, blah, blah. And this is fine. We could think of, okay, well, if this is a regular language, then there is a DFA for it. But the question is, how do you actually make the DFA or the NFA for it? What we usually do is we try to interpret what this part says and try to deduce what the structure of the DFA or the NFA actually should be. When in reality, that's actually quite hard. And because in several of the previous videos, we had trouble figuring out whether a certain string like the empty string really is in this language or not. So what a regular expression is, or a regex, is basically telling us how should we describe a language formally? How do you actually write down a language? Well, if we just have a language like this, if there are finitely many strings in here, then I can just write all the strings out. But what if there are infinitely many strings in this thing? I might have trouble writing all the strings out. So we need a compact representation for that. That's what a regex is. So let's talk about what is a regex. So a regex is going to be one of the following six forms. So there are many definitions on what a regex actually is, and you could extend this if you wanted to. We're just going to stick with the basic definition that most books use. And, um, and there are some places you should be careful that say a regex is something when it actually isn't a regex. It's some, in this terminology, it's some other type of regex. So a regex here is one of the following six forms. Okay. So here it's going to be uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So the first case is if it is the empty string. So if it's the empty string, then it's a regex. It could be the empty set, the actual character we're going to call empty set. So if it's that, then it's a regex. If it's a single of um character where a is in the alphabet sigma. So sigma again is the alphabet. That's uh, not going to change. But if it's a single character in there, so if uh, then it's a regex. So if sigma is 0 or 1, if I just write down 0, that's a regex. The other three are going to be what I call inductive cases, and the first three are the base cases. So you can't have a regex that's smaller than one of these three, but these three are building up off of smaller regexes. So the first one will be if we have, if I have two regexes R1 and R2, and I take the union of them, so union is actually a character now, but it represents the union of the regexes. So if I take one regex here, I'm going to call it R1, and another regex R2 right here, and I put union in between, the whole thing is a regex. Another thing I can do is I can concatenate them together. So again, I have two regexes right here, and I just take one regex and then stick the other one immediately after it. So that's one way. Another thing I can do is I can take one regex and put parentheses around it, um, if you want to, and then put a star right here. So we have seen the star operator many times. This just says apply the regex inside here zero or more times by the star. You could put plus as another operation, but six is actually uh, what we're going to do here for a very good reason. And some of you may have seen this before, where we have union 
concatenation in star, if you are a diligent member of the channel, you will no doubt know that this is uh, union concatenation of star. Those are the regular operations. So let's actually write that down. So these are the regular operations. And don't be confused that this says regular expression or regex. This says regular operations. Those regulars mean different could mean different things. It's just that we will show that regular expressions under this definition are going to recognize the regular languages, and we will see that next time. So I hope that was interesting. If you have any other interesting definitions of regexes, put them in the comments. Please like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. And as always, I'll see you next time.